Ja, dit is een vampier. Dit is een vraag van een vampier. Oké, I'm really trying to show last week. Uh-oh. Mom, mom, look at her. Take the banana. And do what? And hold it like you're going to talk to a microphone. And that's why I'm not talking to that microphone, though. I can't like this banana with a microphone, man. TV, y'all, uh, hanging out today in Atlanta, and all the chaos is going on behind me. You would not believe the one and only, of course, Alexis K. Tyler. And for those of you who been following her videos, you know originally in the show she used to have her mom on there, and her mom was just off the chain. Well, she's actually kicking in with us today, and none other than Quadir. So stay tuned because this shit is about to get real crazy, real fast. Okay. It's a class, and the people wanted the class, and they showed up for the class. But the girl that was teaching the script, and she teach oral sex classes, but she grows. She was supposed to start and execute the oral sex class by actually swallowing it, in. and she did not execute to bring the men to an orgasm. So I need somebody else that's gonna come down and execute on that dick and the nuts. And she started going for the kids. Like, you have to know, you have to, you have to, you have to, read, you have to read. I know I saw, there was a, a video that I saw where it looked like a setup, like it was a, like an actual show. Every Wednesday at uh, Atlantic Station in Tempe, if you want to be a teacher for our, my next Oral 6101, you show sure can, honey, because the girl that came out there, she started off well, and then she froze. So she froze. She, her, I, I, I've never had an answer on that. Okay. But, but. Do what? Like, teach on what? Um, oral sex. I don't know, honey, because I mean, you got some people who are divas, but I, I don't know. The, the no, I mean, you know what? Uh, uh, I, I heard of pictures, but guys said time or two. Uh, going down the road a time or two. Whatever you know, they call it, going down the road. A time or two. A time or two. Yeah, I, I, I went down the road a time or two. Oh, see. See, she, 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 she don't know. She don't no, no, it's, it's, I don't know. I mean, I know the something, something, but I don't know. Like, I know because they tell you me know all the facts. Yeah. Yeah, I, I look like an amateur. You don't want to have me on the show because yeah, she like, don't want me on the needle. So uh, I, 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 I don't want that. I don't want that way. She got she. she, she, she have an amateur on, on the show, on the show too. See what I'm saying? With me. See, yeah. but, but, yeah. We we both the same. We me and me. Because if I pull up in the bag, I'm gonna eat it. Mm -mm. What am I doing with this banana? Am I eating it? I tried to ask her, why you want me to have this banana? Why you eating this banana? She don't know that. She don't know that. But you're the professional. What? What? I said, why are you giving me this banana? I'm talking about just take the banana. And do what? And hold it like you're going to talk to a microphone. And that's why I'm not talking to that microphone, though. I can't like this banana with a microphone, man. I like that. Okay, you perform oral sex on somebody, it's, it's a spiritual and sexual bond. You're actually supposed to forget that you're in a physical act. Ah! I got to I got to Yes. I got to Y'all did not try to put me in this. Okay. Okay. <laughs> What you wearing, who, who you wearing, I'm, why you wearing it. I'm more concerned about the politics, where the, what the direction our country is going, how it affects black people, because there are still a lot of black people now, even though Obama's and Michelle is in office, they losing their jobs, they have nowhere to stay, they killing each other. So, I, you know, they, to me, they cut a couple of hours back at the crystal on him. And he went home, got stunned, came back, shot the man that did it. Then kill myself. When we, I'm like in the middle of all the drama every day, and people in the hood can't pay their rent and got social security checks and food stamps, and they still can't eat enough or buy enough food that lasts to the end of the month. So that's just. No, but this is a 
a different one. It's a, it's a lot of girls that are struggling, but it's how their mamas mistreat them, but they are good to the men. Yeah. They treat the men like kids. And she moved this man. He don't work. He don't have a car. The mama take care of him about food, pay the bills. But then she dogs her daughter out to tell her every day, I want you to get out of my house. So I was telling her, a lot of black people have been taught to love your family, even if they dog you out and do you wrong. And we're still people. We're, we have a right to be here too. We're human, we're spiritual, we're emotional. And we need to be respected. Just because somebody gave birth to you don't mean that they should dog you out and disrespect you. And that's what I was telling her. I think you mentioned that in your video as well. And my whole thing is this, I say, um, don't you know when you meet a trifling person on the street, they have a family to go back to? That'll make them not trifling. But yeah. if you try to be damn trifling. And I, you have to be able to recognize the call a spade a damn spade, not a queen of hearts. And if the bitch is the motherfucking queen of I'm a, um, a spade. Okay, yes, honey, cut that motherfucker looks like a damn um, catfish on a um, fish line. But you know what? It's easier for us to do that to somebody we don't know. Mm -hmm. When when it's somebody we grew up with. Well, not, you know, the outsider looking in can always see a different picture. Um, mm -hmm. you know, okay, I mean, I don't think. But it's easy. You, you can't get that person you grew up with. They gave birth to you. And you can't say never speak to them again. That's too devastating. Even though know, they know sometimes they shouldn't talk to them. They deal with them because they're so, they just don't care about the kids. Mm -hmm. Talk about not love their kids. They talk to their kids. In a situation like that, what, you, what you're saying, and I understand what you're saying about both of the shows, whatever, you did too. You should get the mothers, if the mothers are willing, to do an interview just plainly with the mother and find out why the mother reacted that way if that daughter is whatever age now, uh, mature enough to see things on, on in their own site now, and ask the mother, well, why did you do this or do that? Because it doesn't matter how old the daughter is. If you got your daughter living in your house and you got a man standing there that don't pay no rent, and your daughter's giving you her welfare check and that's all she got, you taking the daughter's money and then you tell her I want her to I want you to get the fuck out my house. That's that's what we're talking about. It, it, we're not talking about daughters that dog out their mom. These are the moms that dog out their daughters while they let niggas dog them out. But you know for a fact, because I told you a couple of weeks ago this girl live in Ohio. She's 16 years old. Her mama beat her like she a man. Hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. And I tell you that. And the mother would let him talk. The mother the story to ask her. She's like, bitch, don't call my house no more. And hung up on my uh, hung up on me. So I'm read out. I said, let, let me. I just want to talk to you. Talk to your daughter. She's like, then I tell you don't call. Click. I said, read out. I read out about 15 times. I'm like, we will read out. I'll read out on your ass all day. Yes, because I kept read out. She told her say you can't call me. But see, this is what she did. The daughter did. No, before he got to that point. With the mother. The daughter had to tell her not to do it. Oh. This is the story. The girl called me, she emailed me on YouTube, and sometimes I do that. If somebody says that they're feeling suicidal, they have a lot of issues about me, but I, I try to help them to see if there are resources where they can go stay or somebody I know that has an organization or something to feed them, to clothe them, to help them. She said that she was so hurt and she was tired of her mother punching her. I'm talking about punching her in the face, choking this girl to where she cannot breathe, choking her right to the point where she's about to give out a breath, hold it, and when she's about to suffocate, she'll release her fist and shit from around this little girl's throat. And she actually said she wanted to kill her mom. She said, I'm gonna kill her. I'm thinking about killing when she come in. And I said, here's my phone number. Come and talk to me because I did not want her killing her mother and having to go to jail. And there was no and there was no history of showing how the mother was abused because she wasn't telling nobody. And then the mama got her at home school. So see, she ain't around nobody. Her mom was her teacher, her mother, everything got a trap in the house. And then she had older brothers. Whenever her mother's punching her, beating her, they go turn the music up. They turn the TV up. And one of them's 20 years old. He could easily apprehend the mother. The, the daughter actually wrote out a document, give me the dates, the time, describe the beatings, signed it. So I, I don't believe she was lying. She emailed me to me, so I had heard from her in like a few, few weeks. So I called. And I, I asked her mother, asked her hello. I said, let me speak to your daughter. She was like, what are you doing calling her? How old are you? You sound like you're over there. I'm just trying to talk to your daughter. See how she's doing. So I know it's not illegal for me to be her friend because she's a teenager in my 40s. I just want to see if she's all right from your ass. 